Hi everyone, so this is the first uh, bit of a second lesson um, to do with geometry. So we're doing arithmetic where you add on the same amount that has a common difference. This time we're doing geometric where you multiply and it has a common ratio which is R. Now if you imagine uh, 10, if I double it, you get 20, then 40, then 80. Now that keeps on going forever and ever, so that diverges. Whereas if I had 10 and then I halved it, multiplied by a half, I get 2 and a half, eventually that's going to go down to a really, really small number and not change. And that converges. So if it says, if it diverges, it goes without limit, where if it converges, it appro pre uh, approaches a limit. And if you have ones that oscillate, so bound, I could have like a 10, a minus 20, a plus 40, a minus 80, if I was multiplied by minus 2. It's like all the noise in the background from the, um, the crane and stuff. Um, and it says here that if it converges, you need to have a value between plus or minus 1. So I'm making it smaller as it goes. So there's lots of information here about the ratio being R, the first term being A. And it says here underneath it says the first term is A. The second term I'm multiplying by R. The next one I'm multiplying again by R. And if you look, the R power is one off the term, the n value. So it's A R to the n minus one. You have to remember that. Now there's one of the sum equations given, but the other one you just multiply through by a minus one on the top and the bottom, and it makes it work all right. So that's that part, that's the first bit done. Right, so uh, we've got a question, and it's not even, the first question doesn't even ask you just to find the term. So it's a little bit, it's a little bit kind of confusing. Um, I hope it wasn't muffled when we were talking, but the microphone was in front of a big roller balloon thing, I didn't spot that. So hopefully you can hear me a bit better now. I'm not sure if it was muffled at the start. Right, so it says, a geometric series sequence has a first term of A and a common ratio of 2. So I know that A is 5, R is 2. So it might have asked me to find the 10th term, and then that would just be 5 times 2 to the power of 9. But this says, find the number of terms which are less than 1,000. Right, so I've got to find where the 1,000th term would be, or just underneath it. So I'm looking where AR to the N minus 1 is less than 1,000. Can you hear that banging in the background? So I've got 5 times by 2 to the power n minus 1 is less than 1,000. So I've got 2 to the power n minus 1 is less than 200. Now if I take logs of both sides, we have ln of 2 to the n minus 1 is less than ln of 200. Take the power of the front, n minus 1, and ln 2 is less than ln 200. Divide through by ln 2, Now this is where you have to be a little bit careful with my colour, uh, because I have to double check, is ln2 positive or negative when I do it? Because if I'm dividing by a negative, it flips the inequality. This one doesn't, so I'm okay. So n must be less than log 200 over log 2 plus 1 there. I've done some rearranging with logs. Now that gives me n is less than 8.64, so therefore n must be 8. So the 8th term is less than 1,000, the 9th term is more than 1,000, that's what we're saying. So that's part A done. God, we've got a lot of room here, have we? Part B says find the least value of n so that the sum is bigger than 10,000. So let's see if I can cram this in a little bit. So I'm looking for the sum to be bigger than 10,000. Now my R value was 2. So I want to use the equation with R minus 1 in it to keep my bottom line um, positive. 
So A is 5, so it's 2 to the n minus 1, and then it's 2 minus 1. So I'm using the formula um, A R to the n minus 1, R minus 1. And I've chosen that to keep the bottom line positive, and that's greater than 10,000. So my 5, 2 to the n minus 1 is greater than 10,000 means, because I've got 2 minus 1. So if you divide through by 5, that's going to be 2,000. Add on the 1, 2,001. Now I've got choices, I could take ln, or I could do log to base 2. So I could take ln, or log, so take log, ln of 2 is either like an n log 2, or take log to base 2. So I'm going to do a log to base 2, so 2001, which gives you, n is greater than 10.9665. So n is 11. If you didn't, if you didn't take log to base 2, which most people wouldn't, you'd have something which was a log 2 to the n is greater than log 2001. So n log 2 is greater than log 2001. n greater than log 2001. So, yeah. So it does it. It's up to you which one you do. Um, Right, so we've got a second example to do here, somewhere. Where? Oh my god! <laughs> it's miles away! Right, let's have a look at this one then. So, I wonder if we can get this one in in time. I might stop it, um, 